Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your 13 and 14 reading for Virgo. Okay. Yes, this string is meant to hang like this. They're all over my shirt. Okay, but anyways, I'm redoing your reading because I deleted the other one on accident. I deleted you, Leo, Cancer, and Libras on accident. So you could be dealing with one of those people. It could all be in sync. Everything happens for a reason, though. Okay, but Virgo, your first reading was um, either you or somebody else is, is, is attracted to someone outside of a relationship. They find them to be, they love their hair, their nails, their vibrancy. It's a queen of wands. Someone very attractive could be online. This could be someone in the public eye. Somebody that's very, very attractive. This is you or the, your person you're dealing with. But I feel like there's going to be some kind of breakup or something that's happening. But that's what came out in the first reading. I'm sure you guys wanted a review. I did this for all the signs I deleted on accident, which was you, Cancer, Leo, and Libra. All right. So let's see what comes out this time. You feel me? So let's see for Virgo. If you would like your 11 and 12 update for March, you can go check out my TikTok at unique underscore tarot and also follow me there. All right, so this is for Virgo. Sun Moon Rising, Venus North Node, March 13th to the 14th for Virgo. Okay. For Virgo, please. Can I have one for Virgo? Can I have one for Virgo, please? Please, for Virgo. Virgo. Sun Moon Rising, Venus North Node, March 13th and the 14th for Virgo. And what the cards that came out in this particular deck was never going to change. You know the truth and pure greed. So I feel like somebody is pure greedy. That They're never going to change. But I feel like this is more sexually. Somebody likes to have multiple partners or they like to sleep with this other person or, or this is you. Okay, it says a friend of the family. Oh, wow. So that came out this time. And then we pretend to negotiate and then takes. Wow. So somebody pretends to negotiate and then they take. All right. So, yeah. All right. So let's see what this is for you. A friend of the family. All right. Is what came out for you. So there could be a friend of the family that you're talking to or that pretends to negotiate, but then they take. Or this could be the person you're dealing with, Virgo, or whatever. Somebody pretends to negotiate or pretends to understand or pretends to, they just pretend. And then they take or they're selfish or they do the same things or something like that. Because your first reading was um, never going to change, greedy, pure greed, and you know the truth. So you know the truth. You you know or they know the truth that somebody's never going to change. They know your ass ain't never going to change or you know they ain't. Pick which side of it you're on. We got the Ten of Wands in the world. Something is over. Tens represent completion and endings, and the world is a cycle is over. A major arcana. So I'm leaving, I'm getting you, you're leaving something behind that's too stressful or or something. What's the message here for Le for Virgo? I was about to say Libra. You could be dealing with the Libra for Virgo. Sun Moon Rising Venus and North No, March 13th and the 14th. Oh no, my nose is I might sneeze, y'all. So excuse me. This is for Virgo. All right, let's see. We got the moon card. You could be dealing with a cancer. Who got this card out first too? Another sign got this card out first, but I forgot who it was. Could be, could have been cancer or could have been Leo. But I don't know. Go watch the other signs as well because it could resonate. But you could be dealing with a cancerian, okay? All right. You have five of wands that there's a lot of arguing and fights with. So I'm getting a lot of hidden shit, a lot of secrets. I'm hearing like somebody's not telling the truth or somebody's hiding something. Somebody, somebody, they're never going to tell the truth about something, Virgo, or you're not. But cancers hold secrets. They, they, to the death, literally, they hold it. They, they hold secrets. They do not tell everything. So I feel like somebody's going to take a, a particular secret to their grave, literally. Somebody's not going to own up to something, admit something, or none of that, Virgo, or your ass ain't. You could be the one, too. This could be a cancer you're dealing with, or you it could be you. But pick what side. So I'm getting there's arguments and fights, debacles, because somebody knows that. Someone knows what's up. Okay? What's the messages? I 
feel like there's arguments and fights about a new love or another person or yeah ace of cups new love i didn't even see that yeah because sometimes i'll be looking up in a way out my out of my window so i'm not always looking down because it helps me to get the downloads as well yeah justice there's going to be justice in a situation or karma could be dealing with a libra or a cancer here yeah the seven of wands i'm getting somebody's blocking your ass or you're blocking them yeah because you're standing up for yourself or or you know the truth. What is the um? What is this moon card here for Virgo? What is this moon card? Why is this moon card here? March thirteen and the fourteen. Yeah, ten of wands. There, there, somebody. It's just very stressful. I feel like a secret or shit that you're holding on to or someone else's is really stressing them out and really weighing them down. I feel like somebody secretly feels stressed out and weighed down in a relationship, or you do. Somebody just wants to be free. Somebody wants five, five, five. That that's like indicative if that's how you pronounce it to the tower card something is about to be revealed something is exposed exposed or it has been all right five 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 is also abrupt endings and changes here so i feel like somebody feels completely wore down weighed down in a relationship they're not saying that they're stressed out they really want to drop all this shit this is the max wands in the deck somebody is tired they cannot keep holding all of this or they can't keep holding this in all right all right, and we got the fool. Yeah, somebody wants to be free. Yep, and look at that, nine of swords. Somebody wants to be free because they, they, they're they tired. They're stressed out. They're not getting no sleep. Yeah, we have the knight of wands and the five of wands and the two of wands. It's because somebody, yes, exactly. It's because somebody knows that they want to go in a different direction, that they're attracted to someone. There's arguments and fights about that. Somebody knows that someone is lying and they just keep doing it. That's what's making it worse. Or your ass keep doing it or they keep doing it. Yeah, the devil. Somebody here is toxic. It's a lot of toxicity in this relationship. A lot of addictions, whether sex, drugs, money, uh, gambling, addictions of any sort when the devil come out. And it's just a lot of lies. That's lies as well. Somebody could be a, a habitual liar is what I just heard. Or this is you. But the cards we have on the table is cancer. So it could be a cancer or an Aquarius. What's the messages? Right. Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune, but there's going to be a shift. Something is changing here. The universe is changing it. There's going to be a shift here. Something can be no, no more or no longer or something like that. Yeah, the hangman. But it's like somebody's delaying this. Pisces energy. Yeah, the four of wands. It's like somebody's delaying this because of a live-in situation or a home situation. Or somebody's trying to delay or stop something that's, that's inevitable. Like, literally... What is this? Yeah, the seven of wands. You see what I'm saying? It's like somebody's trying to block someone. I'm also, oh, I also got a, your first reading. I have to say that because your reading was called doing spell work on the other person someone is in love with. So somebody could be doing spell work on the other person that someone is in love with. I feel like it's somebody online. It could possibly even be a Libran. But I will be very careful doing this to a Libra because they rule karma. And you get instant karma, very bad karma, doing witch work and shit on a Libra. You have to understand signs and the karmic law, which is more important than man's law. Okay? So this is you or somebody else, but somebody's going to, they really need to watch what they're doing. Because they, I, I forgot to read your title to you, but that's what it was named. But I'm probably going to change the name. But we'll see here. But it's like somebody's trying to block someone's destiny or make their make it hard for them to, to move forward or make it hard for someone to do something here. I don't know. Yeah, somebody's trying to slow someone down or block someone. And somebody is doing this to somebody. I'm telling you, man. People don't know who they fucking with. What's the messages? What is the messages here? Spirit, guys, angels, universe. What's the messages? For Virgo, March 13 and the 14th for Virgo. Yeah. Somebody better be worried. They better be real worried. Okay? Yeah. Because whatever this is, yeah, the world card. Something is over. About a third-party situation. All right? Or something somebody knows. 
Yeah, we have the King of Swords about the truth. Somebody's intelligent. Somebody knows what's going on here or this air sign or or whoever this is. We only got Cancer's energy here so far. So this could be a Cancer. So, but somebody's worried about someone's destiny or what or, or something like that. Somebody's trying to block somebody or stop somebody or somebody's worried about being rejected or maybe you're blocking them because you know something here. But the world card is here. It's over. A cycle is over, dog. Or if it's not over now, it will be. Something can be no more is what I heard spirit God say. This God is going to dismantle something regardless. It could be no more. The tower came out in your first reading that I deleted on accident, which is the universe coming in, God coming in and shaking it up because somebody refuses to see the truth. So the God strikes that dark tower with lightning to bring it down so that somebody can see all the lies and all the shit that somebody has been doing because somebody refuses to see shit for what it is or they're just pretending like they don't. Yeah. Oh my God. The tower is here. That's crazy. I said that. Like I be having visions, man. I'm telling y'all, I be looking out at, out my window, just getting visions and visions. And then I look down and then I see the cars at the bottom of the deck. So this is here again. The tower is coming down. These lies are coming out and somebody is worried because their shit is exposed. But I feel like somebody still, they're struggling hard. Somebody is still going to hold on to whatever these secrets are. They're not going to own up to it, especially if it's a cancer. And cancer came out first. So you're dealing with a cancer, period. Okay, so yeah, the four of swords. All right. But I feel like there's a storm brewing or there's something going on around, but you seem to be at peace. Because I feel like you know that this is over or they know or pick what side of this you're on. But but somebody, it's just really weighing somebody down, these secrets or this dark shit that they're hiding or whatever this is. And I'm getting somebody is losing sleep because you're rejecting them. You're blocking them. You're like, no, you know what I'm saying? I know you're a liar or whatever this is, or they know you are. What's the messages? Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So something is moving slow here or something is stagnant or somebody's trying to block something here. What is the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, the higher font, the Three of Swords. Yeah, so, so there's definitely some lies going on. There's definitely cheating in a marriage. Higher font is marriage. Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords. Somebody is, um, what is the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, the King of Cups in the reverse. So something has slowed down. I feel like somebody's no longer in love. Something has slowed. Something has stopped. Okay. Something is not moving forward anymore. Yeah. The six of wands. This is definitely something online or somebody's very popular. They have a high following or somebody's no longer giving someone attention. They're no longer putting their attention into someone. I feel like somebody has turned cold. Queen, King of swords. The, the king of cups in reverse can be, that's cancerian energy. Okay. That could be somebody that's very manipulative, a heavy drinker, somebody that um, lies, somebody that um, says whatever they need to say, somebody with an evil streak, somebody that just, I just feel like somebody stopped giving love or you did, or maybe you both did to each other, but I feel like the love is gone with the King of Cups in reverse. It just stopped or it's, or it's, it's, it's slow or it's just not, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of five of wands energy here. A lot of arguing and fighting about somebody wanting to be free or single or move on. Or that someone is missing someone online or that they're attracted to someone online. We have the page of swords looking at the empress so it could be a Libra. Yeah, the five of swords, five of wands, a lot of jealousy, competition. This is petty. These are low vibes, these two cards. The lowest in the deck is fives. There's a lot of jealousy, arguing, competing, and all kinds of shit going on here. This would be gossip and all kinds of shit. This is reminding me of Cancer's reading. So you could definitely be dealing with the Cancer, with the so the Cancer card coming out first. But with, with that being one of the the, the uh, messages I deleted, I feel like. All right, Spirit just told me like those met those videos I deleted on accident because I was going through deleting shit too fast. It's because somebody don't want these messages to get out. Somebody may even be trying to do spell work to block somebody or keep something from coming out or being said or whatever. Because there's gossip and shit going on and all types of shit. People need to mind their fucking business and stop gossiping and talking and shut the fuck up, first of all. Okay. 
but I feel like in, in, in Cancer's reading, what you need to go watch, it's like somebody, there's a tarot reader here. Somebody's going to a tarot reader or they're watching a tarot reader and, and somebody's doing their job. Somebody's mad at this person for doing their job. When, when somebody here needs to just stop watching them or telling, or, or, or whatever this is, if they want, if they are mad about what's being said or their secrets being exposed, stop watching them, period, point blank. Or stop going to a tarot reader or whatever. Yeah, because this could be somebody on YouTube. Three of Pentacles is YouTube. Or if it's not, oh, here it is again. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, Six of Wands. Somebody that is on a worldwide stage. Somebody that's very popular. They have a high following. Yeah. Somebody's worried about this. Yeah, you're definitely dealing with a cancer here. Because cancer definitely is giving me the same vibes. This is definitely like the same read. Especially when I saw the Five of Swords, Five of Wands. They got the same energy. Yeah, like Nine of Wands. Somebody is mad. Mad as fuck, frustrated, angry, and, and all kinds of shit. But it is what it is. Somebody is, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The tower showed up. So that's God wanting the truth to be exposed. Wanting somebody to see something or someone for what it is. Because somebody will, has been lying with the moon card coming out, cancer energy, and holding shit. And they still going to hold a bunch of shit, ten of wands, a bunch of secrets to their grave. They're never going to admit it. Never. Yeah, the lovers. So yeah, somebody's worried about, yeah, six of wands. This is somebody following. Somebody's in love with someone that they follow or they're very attracted to this person or whatever this is. Yeah, the devil. Somebody has addictions and toxicity. Somebody's addicted to sex or they're addicted to people online or they're addicted to this person online. Period. Yeah, the ace of swords and you know the truth about it. It's being called out. You know the truth about it and it is what it is. What's the six of wands? Are they know? What's the six of wands and the lovers? This could be a friend of the family that's telling you this with the friend of the family card. And then we have pretends to negotiate, but then takes. Yeah. What's the six of wands and the lovers? Six of wands and the lovers. Yeah, five of pentacles. Okay. So something's in it abruptly or something's out in the cold or, um, yeah, the two of swords. And the three of swords, yikes. So somebody's going to stop something. They're going to stop watching someone or stop looking at someone or stop something here. What's the, yeah, the tower? It's already exposed though. The tower keeps showing up. Yeah, and there's that cancer again. A cancer or a Scorpio, okay, it's already, yeah, it's, what is the, what is the, um, the, what is this for, for, uh, Virgo? What is this? Yeah, something is very toxic. The four of cups and the devil. I feel like somebody is not attracted to someone in a relationship at all. The de devil is grotesque. That's a card of unattractiveness. So is the five of pentacles. I feel like somebody feels very unattractive. Very un Somebody's very unhappy, discontent, and, and complacent in a relationship. They're not happy at all. And they're not attracted to the person that they're with. That is the truth. Okay, yeah, this could be you, Virgo, because here you are. This could be you, or this could be this person you're dealing with. What is the Six of Wands and the Lovers? Who's the Six of Wands and Lovers? And somebody makes somebody feel insecure about that shit. Yeah, the Five of Swords. I feel like somebody is, is, is very jealous of whoever this attractive person is online. Very, very jealous of this person. Something's going to be exposed. What's the five of swords? I feel like somebody hates this motherfucker. Yeah, the hangman. Somebody is stuck on, what's the hangman? A lot of cards. Yeah, the devil. I feel like somebody, yeah, the queen of swords. It could be a Libran or a Pisces. But I feel like somebody may even be trying to, what is they trying to do? What is the hangman and the queen of swords? Cause I'm seeing a lot of cards of like, of like, um, of like delays. Yeah, the Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So, so, yeah, yeah, the Emperor. Okay, so this could be a father or something. Yeah, the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. Yeah. So this is someone, this is somebody that someone's communicating with or been off and on with in the past. There's love here. There's someone new. The tower keeps showing up. You see that? Something is being exposed. Whether somebody likes it or not, yeah, it, it, it is, whatever. 
Five of Wands. Yeah, a lot of talking, a lot of, yeah, the five, in the family situation. Yeah, this family knows the truth or somebody knows the truth. It's exposed. And there's nothing nobody can do about it. I feel like somebody's trying to, like, I don't know what somebody trying to motherfucking do. Yeah, the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. And the Six of Swords. So lots of betrayal here. Somebody could be, have been, somebody may have been planning to travel here, but that may be coming to an end or somebody's deciding not to or something. Okay, yeah, the Justice. Page of Cups, the Sun, the Seven of Pentacles. What's the Knight of Wands? The three of swords. So there was three of swords is a big lie. And the knight of wands. That's cheating. That's infidelities. That's a one night stand. That's some player shit or whatever. Yeah, the star card. Okay. Yep. And there's that seven of swords and justice. Somebody's going to get justice for their lies. For being sneaky for whatever. Or being sneaky about this Libra. Or being sneaky about whatever the fuck they're doing here. Somebody is cheating. Somebody is lying. Somebody has cheated. Someone is, is stepping out or is attracted to this person. Someone is just a liar. I feel like somebody's saying, no, I love you. We've been together. We have this and that together. But I feel like somebody is really in love with someone else and, and attracted to them. Really obsessed with their ass. Obsessively like watching them or obsessively, yeah, the judgment. You see what I'm saying? Judgment is being called down. The judgment is the truth as well. Judgment is being called. Like judgment is, spirit is calling something out. What's the judgment? Something is going to be exposed. The truth is going to be spoken or, so, or, or something like that. Yeah, the two of wands. That's literally being chosen by the higher up. So somebody is chosen to speak out. Somebody is chosen to do this. What's the judgment in the two of wands? Or somebody's making a sound decision here. Judgment two of wands to do what? Yeah, the ace of wands and the four. I feel like somebody's going to make a sound decision to go towards the new. Yeah, this queen of wands. Exactly. Somebody's going to make a decision to go towards the new. Or somebody just wants somebody to speak the truth. The ace of wands is somebody attractive and new. You got that in your first reading. Somebody going off to this ace of wands. And this queen of wands showed up in your reading several times. The first one I did as well. Okay. Yeah, the ace of pentacles, the star. The seven of swords and the justice. Somebody's going to get karma for all these lies they tell and they know they're lying. And it's going to be exposed. Period. Yeah, we got the, it could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Leo or whatever. Well, there's another, there's another woman here. If you're in a marriage or in a relationship, there's another woman or somebody that's been giving somebody money for sex or that's been giving somebody money or having sex with them or whatever. Okay. But it, it's definitely here. All right. So somebody definitely, there's a lot of jealousy and hate and envy here. What's the devil? But, you know, or gossip or whatever this is. But the truth is being it, it, it exposed. Yeah, the magician. I knew that. I knew that card was going to come out. And the four of pentacles. Somebody's doing some kind of spell work to hold on to somebody as well. To block someone or hold somebody on. Somebody's going to get bad karma for this. I'm telling you, I see it. Will of Fortune and the justice that kept showing up. Yeah, the Page of Swords, somebody, yeah, the Empress and the Four of Wands, somebody, somebody's watching this Libra and that's online. This is being on stage, okay? This is some on camera or whatever, and, and, and somebody's attracted to this person or whatever this is. It's the truth. This star, this person in the public eye, somebody could even be doing spell work on them out of jealousy and hate. Somebody's going to pay big fucking time. And I'm just going to say that, yeah, nine of wands, ace of swords, somebody is annoyed and frustrated because of the truth, because they cannot confuse someone or because this family is not confused. Someone is frustrated and irritated, but they're not mad about the secrets and the lies they tell. They're only mad because they ass is called. So those are your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow your girl on Instagram at empressgoddess underscore 35. Bye.